Hello there, you absolute legend. My name is Darren and this is Cybazaar. I like to take you through tech news stories and provide you with the detail that you just won't find anywhere else. In today's video, we are going to look at how a hacker may have taken control of your computer system and be already using it to generate money for themselves. According to the BBC, they have already made over $2 million by distributing cracked games such as Grand Theft Auto and Pro Evo and infecting it with malware. I'm going to show you how they've done that and what you can do about it if your system has been infected. A hacker has been offering free versions of popular PC games in online forums and via email and torrents. These cracked games come with a custom installer that also installs malware as well as the game. Infected games include Grand Theft Auto, Far Cry 5, Fallout 4, We Happy Few and many more. I will put a full list of the infected installers and their hashes in the description. If you have one of these installers, you can create an SHA-256 hash for it and compare it against the hashes I have provided. If they match, the installer also contains malware. I have mentioned hashing in my previous video about how Apple are gonna scan your photos when you upload them to iCloud. I also have a hashing video coming out soon. Krakonosh is the name of the malware that is distributed along with the pirated PC games. Malware is malicious software that has been created to cause harm. The Krakonosh author may be Czech. Apparently, Krakonosh means mountain spirit in Czech folklore. According to Avast, the Czech cybersecurity company, Krakonosh has been circulating since at least June 2018 and has yielded over 2 million US dollars for its authors in Monero, which is a cryptocurrency. For over 222,000 infected systems worldwide, this is a process known as crypto jacking. The BBC reports around 800 cases are being discovered on computers every day. The UK has about 8,000 victims and the US about 12,000 victims so far. It works like this. A custom installer is downloaded, which also contains the pirated software and the Krakonosh malware. When the installer is run, the game is installed, but the malware is installed too. Now, the malware may not be installed immediately. It may sit dormant on your computer to avoid detection and then be installed at a later date. Once installed, the malware searches for and disables many popular antivirus software programs. If it finds any of these installed, it deletes them. It stops Windows Defender. It turns off automatic updates. It prevents your system from going into hibernation mode and it replaces Windows Security with a green tick in the system tray. It connects with other infected computers over the internet and downloads any updates it has for itself. It looks at the running processes on your computer for programs such as Wireshark, Fiddler, Farbar, Malwarebyte and other cybersecurity applications. If it finds any, it closes itself down to avoid detection and then reopens on the next system startup. I will put a link in the description to the Avast overview of this particular piece of malware for those of you that want a more technical explanation. When Krakonosh is running, it starts crypto mining for Monero coins using your computer's resources and the XMRig miner software, which it also installs. In simple terms, when your computer is crypto mining, it is solving complex mathematical calculations. The first computer on the network to complete the calculation gets a reward in cryptocurrency. The cryptocurrency Monero differs from Bitcoin as Bitcoin transactions are public and Monero's are private. Also, unlike Bitcoin, there is no way to determine whether the Monero coins that you have have been involved in any illegal transactions previously. They are all treated clean and equal. So, what's the big deal about Krakonosh mining coins in the background, apart from it being a little bit cheeky? Mining for cryptocurrency is extremely resource intensive. Your computer may slow down substantially due to the increased workload. There will be an increase in power consumption, so your electricity bills will skyrocket. Your laptop batteries may deplete at a much faster pace. There will be significantly more data usage. Your computer components will wear out sooner due to overuse. And you may experience system instability, such as crashes and unexpected shutdowns. Also, because of the increase in power consumption, you'll be contributing to the increase in CO2 emissions. Removal of this malware is complicated. I haven't found an automatic removal tool, so you are going to have to roll your sleeves up and do this manually. There are seven stages. You will need to delete five running tasks, delete 13 files from your System32 folder, delete a file from your local AppData folder, 
delete a file from the Windows Defender folder and also remove 10 registry keys. You will then need to restore five Windows services and also reinstall Windows Defender and any third-party security software that it has deleted. I will put a link in the description for the full process for those of you that need it. So, how do you prevent this from happening to you? Avast say, so long as people continue to download cracked software, attacks like these will continue to be profitable for attackers. The key takeaway from this is that you really can't get something for nothing. And when you try to steal software, odds are someone is trying to steal from you. Never use cracked software. You simply don't know what you are getting. Do not download cracked software from forums or from peer-to-peer -peer networks with software such as Emule or Torrent clients. If you want to play a game, then buy it. I know they are a lot of money, but it may well be cheaper than the electricity bill that you will receive if somebody is using your machine for crypto mining. Also, you will have something to show for it as well. You will own the game. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more, either way, take care.